BBC News. Iran has agreed to give United Nations inspectors more access to its nuclear facilities. The head of the UN's nuclear watchdog held talks in Tehran after the discovery of uranium enriched to near weapons grade level at an underground site. The Russian army and Wagner mercenaries are putting increasing pressure on Ukraine's soldiers to withdraw from the shattered eastern city of Bakhmut. Analysis by British military intelligence says Ukraine has been bringing in elite units. UN member states are inching towards an agreement on a treaty to protect the world's oceans. The deal has taken more than a decade to finalise. Rallies have been taking place across Israel for the ninth consecutive week in protest at government plans to overhaul the judicial system. Thousands of demonstrators gathered at the main event in Tel Aviv. Journalists in Guatemala have demonstrated against censorship and government intimidation after a judge ruled that eight reporters should be investigated for obstruction of justice. They were covering the trial of a newspaper editor who's been charged with money laundering. There's been another spate of suspected poisonings in girls' schools in Iran. Pupils in at least 15 provinces have reported symptoms, including respiratory problems and nausea. Nearly 300 Malians and Ivorians living in Tunisia have been flown home after remarks by President Kaya Syed sparked violence against black Africans. He accused sub-Saharan Africans of plotting to change Tunisia's demographic makeup. A ban on alcohol imports in Iraq has been ordered into effect immediately. However, witnesses say stores selling alcohol remain open for business. And the Tunisian director, Youssef Sherbi, has won the top prize at the Pan-African Film and Television Festival, Fespaco.